I drink at least two of these per day now. Today, we're gonna vlog together. I know it's been a while, but once again, I had a big work rush, so it's always like I hardly have any work or I have a ton of work. And I just completed a really cool website. I'll put it in the description if you're curious. And I also took a lot of time to uh, write new articles on my blog, Montreal State, which I will also link in the description. And I just wanted to start the video with something like more face-to-face -face and just give you an update on what's been going on in my life. So first First of all, I'm still at WeWork. It's still a great experience. I'm kind of annoyed by the person sitting to my right because that person doesn't understand the concept of space and like she's always putting her stuff on my end and I'm OCD so you might guess what happens in my head whenever I arrive at the office. But other than that, I really like it and they just finished uh, building the third floor for their offices. So I think we're talking about 6,000 square foot, 12,000 in total. I'm actually gonna ask the manager to show me the third floor. Maybe it looks better, maybe it has a better layout and maybe I'll move downstairs. Overall, I'm very happy with it. It makes sense and whenever I have work, I run there. This has been good. Second thing is that I'm still doing intermittent fasting, better than ever actually. For a normal day, I will eat for about eight hours. I'm trying to eat between four and 8 p.m. So really close in the, the eating window. And the reason why I wanna do that is that I still struggle. If I eat for eight hours, I might end up like having one or too many snacks and struggle a little bit with my macros. But if I close it down like I did yesterday, it was kind of hard to even eat everything that I had to. So far, it's something that I'm, I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. Third thing is that fall started. I love fall. Like whenever summer comes, I'm super happy it's summer. And then at one point I'm like, can fall get started? Because I think it's my favorite season. Like you can still go on a nice warm day, go swim, go in a country house or go to the spa. But the rest of the time you always get to wear like your favorite jacket or your favorite sweater. It's all about like cooking. I, I had those two books that my friend gave me years ago when she knew that I had started CrossFit and I've been reviewing them and I think I'm gonna make like at least 12 recipes from both books. So yeah, I'm really like just in the mood of cooking and doing home stuff and all my favorite shows are starting again. So that's been really cool. Next up is my traveling. So I think it's been like pretty much set for up until February at least. In October, I'm gonna go to Iceland for about four or five days. In November, I'm gonna leave for about like two, three weeks. I don't know how many days exactly, but I'm gonna fly to London and spend a full day there then continue my flights to go to Lisbon. At Lisbon, I'm gonna go to the Web Summit. So if you're going there, say hi, and maybe you will like hang out and go for a drink while I'm there. And then we're gonna go to Amsterdam to see a friend who's actually moving there for work. And then we're gonna go to Oslo once again to see someone we know for a week. I've been meaning to go to Oslo for years. Like I'm so happy, Amsterdam too, and all the places I'm going to. And then from Oslo, we're gonna go to the south of Portugal to Faro, which is like a little beach town. And then December, I have no idea. I think I'm gonna try to stay in Montreal, but I might do a short trip to St. John's. It's really gonna be about money and if I can afford it. And finally, January, I booked a house for a full month in Mexico, so I'll be able to work from there. And then I'm gonna come back to Montreal in February and I don't know what I'll do from then. Maybe try to plan another small trip so I get away as much as possible from Montreal's winters because they're so rough. Or maybe I'll end up staying here and then my big plan is to sell this house where I'm filming. So lots of things to get done in a short amount of time. I guess that's about it. I don't wanna talk forever. I've been filming for 11 minutes already. This camera is actually standing on a new box that I receive of things that I bought at David's Tea. So I'm gonna do a little unboxing with you guys and then figure out what I'm doing. So let's do this. So I ordered all of these things on Friday from David's Tea and it's already Monday and I got it. 
It was free shipping if you ordered at a certain amount, which I respected. Once again, this is because it's fall. So the first thing I got is 100 filters for tea. I know that this is sort of evil because I should use something like in metal where I can put my tea and then clean it, but I really, really, really dislike those. So I'd rather use this for a one time. So these filters are compostable, so I feel a little bit better about it. I got 50 grams of matcha and to go along with it, I got this matcha frother. At first I thought it was just like a milk frother and I was like, why the hell are they calling it a matcha frother? But this thing is pretty cool. So you actually put a spoon of the matcha powder in there. You fill it with a little bit of hot water and then you use the frother like this, like a hand mixer. And then you can have a shot or maybe mix it with some almond milk or in some more water. Then you can create a really yummy matcha latte or something. See, this is my life. I'm not really busy, but I'm busy for 15 minutes at any moment. Next up, I got the tea mix called The Buzz. And let me read you the ingredients so you understand why I got it. All those ingredients are actually teas that I drink by themselves or like juices or smoothies. They all sound amazing. So there's ginger, green tea, matcha green tea, yerba mate, quince, which I don't know what it is, apple, lemon peel, orange peel, licorice fruit, lemongrass, guarana powder, white ginseng, and natural lemon oil. I'm so excited. The next thing that I got is the cold survival kit, which is gonna be great for this fall and this winter in case I get sick. The next thing that I got is just a treat. So it's a tea infused white chocolate bar and it's called birthday cake. It just looks so cute that I couldn't resist. Whenever you do an order on David's Tea, you get to choose three samples and I think it's like enough to make one tea. Uh, the first one I chose is main squeeze, it's a mate. The second one is Buddha's blend, it's a white tea. And the third one is a Midsummer's Night Dream, which is an herbal tea. And finally, this is what I got for free. I think it's a kit that was like about 25 or 30 bucks. It's called The Great Outdoors. And it's all specialties that are made for fall. I might bring those at the office so I can really drink them whenever I'm there and the rest would be for home and that's it. All right, so I'm gonna put all of these away and do a little bit of work and try to figure out what I do with my day. It's 11.36 and I have no idea. There you go, it looks like a mess but I swear it's so delicious and I added some Tabasco for a little. So I'm gonna eat right now and deal with emails and hopefully go out soon. What a fail. It's 6.40, I just got back home. A few hours ago, I left the house and I was gonna go meet my sister at a coffee shop and I totally walked to the wrong coffee shop because I didn't take the time to really read her messages. So she was in the total opposite of the coffee shop I went to. So it was like way too late. So I ended up going by myself. It made me sad. So I bought a croissant muffin. So a coiffin is how they call them. But yeah, I'm pretty tired, but it was still a very successful afternoon. I got a lot of work emails, but no actual work. I was just like approving things or asking for things. So I'm gonna have to do some work this evening. But I ended up booking all the places for my conference trip in Lisbon and also my small stay in Faro, which is in the south of Portugal. So I'm happy this got done. All I have left is to buy train tickets and also book an apartment for the dates that I'll be in Oslo. I don't think I'm gonna have an actual dinner because I had that croissant and it's sort of like screw up the meal that I had planned, but I've been feeling so full from that poutine I showed you. I'm gonna try to watch the presidential debate. So Clinton against Trump, because this should be interesting. I think it goes on for an hour, an hour and a half. And that's pretty much it. I feel so good after that shower and I'm wearing my jacket because right after I 
I forgot I had to take out the garbage, of course. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna prepare a little something because I'm feeling dehydrated and super thirsty, but I also wanna drink bubbles. I'm gonna start by adding a little bit of ginger syrup. This is made in Montreal from a company called Le Charlatan. So they're basically made for drinks, but they're great with sparkling water or anything. Like there's so many uses, so I know I shouldn't because it's a plastic bottle, but I don't care. I'm gonna put, I don't know, a teaspoon. And finally, the sparkling water, a Quebecer company named Esca. This should be enough for my craving. And I'm also gonna have something right before that helps digestion and it's called Gut Shots. I actually bought this bottle when I was in Prince Edward County and you drink it as a shot. I'm really into kimchi, so it really tastes clean. So, cheers. Oh, it's so good. That freaking Trump debate, though. 